Hi, my name is Matthew Lopez. I am from Waxhaw, North Carolina. It exists right underneath Charlotte, North Carolina, and on the border of South Carolina. And I, I wish I had some, you know, linguistic uh, story to tell about this, about how living on the border of North and South Carolina allowed me to hear differences in dialects or dictions or uh, different maybe colloquialisms or phrase phraseology among us but uh really i didn't hear any of that uh, everybody in north and south carolina kind of sounds standard southern um it's kind of a small town kind of in the middle it's it, it's growing um population's around fifteen thousand. we uh we have lots of woods um we have lots of farms we also have a lot of um you know, kind of shopping malls that have been booming in the past few years, and we're starting to build up more apartment complexes and such. But my mother's family comes from German, Germany, back in the 1700s. Uh, we don't know any German. Uh, I don't think anybody in my family knows any or speaks any. And uh, they've been in Lexington, North Carolina, since the 1700s. Uh, the, uh, my, my dad's side of the family, they stem from Italy, and uh, we don't know anything more Italian than pizza. And uh, they're all hanging out in um, Charleston, West Virginia right now. And in regards to accents, none of us, I, I mean, I thought I would inherit a southern accent from my mom or whatever a West Virginia accent would be from my dad. But other than that, I have not at all. Um, and the only time it's been aware to me in my life that I might have an accent was... was um, when I was in elementary school, uh, for one or two grades, uh, uh, some kids made fun of my accent. They said that I spoke in a southern accent, but after middle school, I've uh, not heard anybody say anything like that since. And regards to uh, language, uh, knowing more than one language, I um, took a few classes of Spanish in elementary school and uh, none of it stuck then in middle school I took a few more uh, no I didn't, I didn't take any language classes I took band and art and uh, computer typing classes but I never took a language class in middle school, in high school I took two semesters of German and uh, I've never encountered any kind of job or classroom setting um, beyond college now i'm in spanish 102 in college but beyond that i've never really experienced it. even in jobs i've worked in kitchens and i've only spoke with people who speak english i've worked a um movie theater uh, a movie theater i'll come back to that later and i'm i've, ne I've never worked with anybody that uh that doesn't speak english or if they do know another language another language they never let on or uh, used it or it wasn't knowledge that they knew it um i grew up in a <clears throat> middle class suburban neighborhood uh, Hunter Oaks and um, everybody spoke English there uh, the large the, my, the predominant ethnicity was European and no matter how much people came in and out of the neighborhood uh, I, a lot of people moved in and out when I was a kid and I had a very diverse group of friends but all of uh, from all over the world actually um but they all spoke English, and I never heard them speak any other language besides English, unless they maybe spoke it in a home. On my cul-de-sac, uh, there was a Chinese family, which uh, they had three generations of, two of which, the younger two generations, uh, spoke English and Chinese. The grandparents, I know, did not speak any. Um, an Arabic family right across from them that spoke both English and Arabic. They were from Iraq. And then uh, down on the street from them were two Indian families I assume from India I never actually knew them and um, but I did know from uh, one of their neighbors I remember who was friends with them the differences in ages and stuff like that uh, that they all spoke both Indian and English and I remember that and uh, I wish I would have had more contact with them and maybe learned some of their language or just known them better. I wish that we would have been more involved as a cul-de-sac to have our families get to know one another and learn from one another and share with one another. But, um... So, my mom uh, works in mortgage and my dad works in chemical sales. And, uh... They, uh... When they try to talk uh, with me about their jobs, 
sometimes they get a little too jargon heavy. Yeah, but they're for the most part they do a really good job of translating it, and I think I could describe their jobs very well. My mom works as a, a loan uh, processor. She processes loans for when you want to buy a loan for a house. She's one who processes your credentials in order to get that loan and helps see through till you get the loan. Uh, my dad works in wastewater treatment cells, selling wastewater treatment chemicals to different companies. Um, but they could speak with me and all that kinds of jargon and stuff, but they're able to translate it into a layperson's, like, form in a kind of way I know. Because uh, I don't... I've never really felt code switching with them. I mean, I've code switched between, like, friends growing up and stuff like that, but... Um, yeah, because I guess I was an only child, I got a lot of one-on-one time with my parents, and uh, they talked to me kind of like on my level, I guess, or maybe I talked to them on their level. I don't know. Uh, but I do know that my mom has an English degree, and she uh, made me do a lot of writing assignments after school uh, and in the summers, working on my handwriting, cursive handwriting, she demanded I know cursive, and other composition exercises making sure that I was um, an articulate person on paper. And I definitely notice the way I write. Uh, I, I'll catch myself having traces of old, like, lessons, even on the most basic, like, sentence diagrams and stuff like that. And it, I think back to um, those times. And at times I think I'm a little too formal in my writing because I've had too much training. Uh, training. Uh, but practice writing formally, and I'd like to write a little bit more creatively, which is... Um, really led my interest in playwriting <clears throat> and in particular uh because my mom likes a lot of southern authors i've really fallen in love with uh tennessee williams as a playwright uh, as a southern playwright who's written kinds of story a lot of stories that take place in the south and the characters are very lively and they remind me of stories i've heard from my family and um another playwright i really enjoy is annie baker because she kind of capitalizes on she shines light on instances that I've noticed a lot in life. Uh, a lot of people, the way they sometimes don't say exactly what they want to say or they say something kind of silently, they don't say anything at all. And um, instances of body language, your plays move in a very... Um, you, you really have to read them. And so do Williams' plays as well. I, I really like their playwriting a lot. And that's the kind of writing I want to do. I want to um, write stories for the stage that kind of show what we do as people uh depending on the context but i like i like how they in their form include the very physical side of being human as well as well as the spoken side as well as the gestural side and there's meaning behind those gestures as well and i really i'm, I'm really into that uh, other memories from my life about learning about words would be learning bad words I, I don't know if I should share any specific stories here, but learning bad words, I remember, had a lot of impact uh, on me as a child. And then learning, like, job-specific words or words that I would use very often would be words like action and objective, which are words I have to use in theater a lot. And they're, it's kind of like all... If you ever spend more than a minute in the theater, you know how important the words action and objective are. It's kind of how we talk about what characters want and how people act and on, on its most basic theoretical level. So those are just some words that have had a lot of impact on me. And uh, I've really enjoyed studying anthropology for um, broadening my uh, horizons on um, humanity. And, uh, yeah, that's, um, so that's me, and that's uh, some of my thoughts on uh, my interactions with language. Thanks.